Hi there. Now in this question, we're given that the Venn diagram shows the number of students in a class who read any of three popular magazines, A, B and C. And we've got five questions here to answer. Well, we're told then that one of these students is selected at random. And in the first part, we've got to show that the probability that the student reads more than one magazine is one sixth. So just pause the video if you'd like to have a go at this and uh, as usual come back when ready and you can check your work solution against mine. Okay welcome back if you had a go. So first of all then I'll just put an intro here the probability of reading more than one magazine so I'll just put here more than one mag okay in short. Well how many people read more than one magazine? Well, there's going to be two here. These two read magazines A and B, and there's going to be these three here who read magazines B and C. So I'd add that up as two plus three, and then this is out of the total number of students in the class. And the total number of students is going to be this 10, plus four, plus two, plus five, plus three, plus six. That comes to a total of 30. So what we've got then is 5 out of 30, which reduces down to 1 sixth. OK, now in part B, we've got to find the probability that the student reads A or B or both. So again, you might like to pause the video, just give you a moment for that. OK, welcome back if you had a go. So for this one, we've got to work out the probability of A union B, which represents the probability of A or B or both. So in other words, we're looking at all the number of students in A and B or in both. And so that's going to be the 4 plus the 2 plus the 5 plus the 3. So we'll put that down as 4 plus the 2 plus the 5 plus the 3 and that's out of all the students which is 30 and if you reduce this down this comes to 7 out of 15, 7 fifteenths. Now for part C we've got to write down the probability that the student reads both A and C. So I'll give you a moment just to pause the video, have a go at that one. OK, well, let's see how you got on with this. Well, for this one, this is going to be the probability of A intersected with C or probability of A and C. And that is going to be the number of people that are common to both A and C. Well, there's nobody. Nobody reads magazine A and magazine C. So that would be 0 out of 30, or simply 0. Now for the next part, we're given that the student reads at least one of the magazines. And we've got to find the probability that the student reads C. So again, if you'd like to have a go at this, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. So my intro would be the probability that student reads magazine C given that, and we write a line like this, given that at least one magazine has been read. So I'll just write that in brief as at least one magazine mag. OK. Now, when we're doing something like this from a Venn diagram, a conditional probability, it's very easy. We can do it just literally straight from the diagram. What we've got to do is find out then how many students read magazine C given that at least one magazine was read. Well, let's see how many students read at least one magazine. That's going to go in the denominator here. Well, that's going to be the four here, the two, the five, the three and the six students. Or we could just say we know that there were 30 students in all and just subtract the 10 here, the 10 people that didn't read any magazine. 
So it's going to be 20 that goes on the bottom here. I'm just going to write the sum though 4 plus 2 plus 5 plus 3 plus 6 just so you can see where I got the numbers from. Now out of these 20 students how many of them read C? Well it's got to be these three here. They read both B and C but they did at least read C and these six here. A total of 9, 3 plus 6. So what we've got then is a probability of 9 out of 20. Now for this last part, Part E, we've got to determine whether or not Reading Magazine B and Reading Magazine C are statistically independent. So if you'd like to have a go at this, again, just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, let's see how you got on if you had a go at this one. Now for two events to be independent, and we're talking about, in this case, the events B and C, what I would want to check out is the probability of B and C. Does it equal the probability of B multiplied by the probability of C? If it does, then the events will be independent. If it doesn't, then they're not independent. Now what I need to do is work out each of these quantities individually and see if they equal one another. So we'll start with the probability of B intersected with C. What's the probability of a student reading B and C? Well, we can see straight away that it's got to be this 3 out of a total of 30 students. 3 out of 30. And that reduces down to 1 tenth. Now we'll work out the probability of B times the probability of C. See what that comes to. Probability of B times the probability of C. Well, the probability of a student reading magazine B is going to be the 2 plus the 5 plus the 3. A total of 10 students out of 30. So we've got 10 out of 30 there. And now we need to multiply this by the probability of a student reading magazine C. Well, that's going to be these three people and these six people, a total of nine people out of 30. So I need to multiply this with nine out of 30. And if you work this out, this comes to one tenth. So what we do see here is that both these results are equal. So therefore, what we've got is that those events are independent. Okay, so I hope you've been able to get all these questions right. But if not, that hopefully you found this video of some use.